can find the load that you apply on the FEA on the chassis. And you need to simulate something which is close to the reality. So you go from the tire contact patch. We've given slip angle, slip ratio, and so on. You know the FX, the FY, the FZ, or FZ. And from there, you redistribute the forces and moment through the wishbone, and from there to the chassis. You need to simulate the reality. Is that making sense to you? In your shoulder there, with 0 0.7G. That's what the guys have by turning the steering wheel, not pushing on the brake pedal. Now, do you agree with me that when I say that to you, do you start to understand that cornering is a little bit as if you were braking? And the contact patch goes backward. And you have a tire deformation. And not only the contact patch goes backward, but the distribution of the side load on the contact patch goes to the rear. And as it goes to the rear, the center of the force is more to the rear, which means that you are creating a force multiplied by a distance, a self-alignment torque. Is that making sense to you? So you have both things there. You have both the lateral grip. I don't say it's a good thing. I don't say it's a bad thing. But it's definitely, for a given different tire, it's a, for a different tire, it's gonna be a different way to look at your weight transfer and to look at your slip angle. Tell me how the tie is working and I will tell you what kind of suspension you need.